Hey everybody, how's it going? Just chilling at home. But I purchased something uh, two days ago. I bought the Garmin Dash Cam 35. And uh, I gotta tell you what a cool little system this is. And I highly recommend it to anyone who is wanting to buy a Dash Cam to get the Garmin 35. And uh, this is my thoughts on it. So this is the uh, camera. Um, it's the Dash Cam 35, okay, by Garmin. Uh, very cool little gadget. Um, this is the uh, screen back here. It's actually, okay, here's my uh, wireless magic mouse, okay. So roughly the same size as a magic mouse. Pretty cool little machine here. Um, of course, what you get, you get a four gig memory card, which is here on the bottom. It can take up to a 64 uh, gig card, which is micro SD. Okay, it fits here on the bottom. So what you get in the box is uh, your power cable right here. Uh, and it just plugs into your cigarette lighter. It's a 12 volt uh, adapter. And you get a little bracket that fits into here okay it's not a suction cup and I'll show you that once we get into the into my car I'll show you uh, what I mean um, it just snaps into place on the windshield or wherever you want to put it um, and it's got some features here on the side here so uh, let's try to go through those features so to turn to turn on this unit we just push this top button right here. Unit will turn on. <clears throat> and it's got a couple of warnings here. Okay, and then right away, as soon as it comes on, the it starts recording. You can tell the record light here is red, so it's recording. Um, and these little features here on the bar on the back. If you hit this one here, it takes you to the gallery, which means you can view all your recordings and photos. Okay. Then you got your up and down buttons right here, camera options, and your settings, and that kind of thing. So, what's really cool about this little guy is um, it also tells you red light cameras, where any red light cameras are. Um, so, if you're coming uh, up to one, it will give you a notification on the screen telling you that uh, there's a red light camera uh, approaching um, which is really cool it also tells you uh, if you're driving too close to the vehicle that's in front of you and it actually tells you to hey uh, you know um, give yourself more distance because it gives you an, it gives you another notification on the screen saying you're too close okay um, the other thing that's really cool about this uh, unit is that it gives you a GPS coordinates to where you are uh, every time you are filming and it also gives you your speed that you're traveling at so if you do get into an accident it'll be just a very easy uh, Google search with your coordinates that it's given you to uh, then pull up a map to where you were um, in relation to the video that it's taken so a very cool little machine. Uh, you can actually turn all those features off so that you don't have to uh, have anything displaying on the screen. Um, you don't have to have the red light camera feature on uh, as well as uh, it telling you that you're too close to the vehicle in front of you. You can turn those features off. The only thing that you cannot turn off is the little Garmin, it says Garmin on the left hand side bottom of the screen it'll always say Garmin you cannot turn that off which is okay um, but uh, I'll show you uh, some video that I have taken so far just within two days of using it I almost got into two accidents uh, when I had this on my windshield and I'll just show you two situations that I was in um, and I was able to capture with this camera but let's head over to the car and I'll show you how uh, this attaches to the windshield and uh, all that kind of stuff. Let's go.
Okay, so I'm in my garage here. Um, and basically, I've put it right there, quite high up, so it's not in my way when I'm looking at my uh, windshield. Um, one thing I don't like is obviously the cable, right? I hate anything with a cable on it. But, um, you know, it plugs into your cigarette lighter. Um, it does have a battery uh, built into it. But the battery, I'm going to say, is going to last you about an hour, okay? So you don't have to have the cord plugged in because it does have its internal battery. And I was wondering, like, why would they put a battery in it if it's not going to last very long? Now, I was thinking uh, maybe the reason why they put a battery in it is because, let's say you want to take it off and uh, you can start taking pictures or video of the accident scene or for whatever other reason you would want to take a picture or a video of um, because you can do that with this system okay so uh, basically like as soon as you start your car I'll just start it right here now you can see it comes on with a couple of warning things um, I guess uh, dash cams are not allowed in some countries so uh, or cities, I don't know. But uh, it's highly recommended that you know uh, if a dash cam is allowed uh, if you're driving out of town. But you can see it starts recording right away. <clears throat> starts recording right away. Okay. Um, and then it gives you, um, see this is the battery power right here. Alright. And... Um, if you want to ever, um, if you want to save, for instance, an accident uh, footage, you hit the bottom button right here, and that's how you save the video. And I think I'm not exactly sure, but I think it saves the 30 seconds before, and it saves 30 seconds after the accident. If you want to take a picture, it's this button right over here. There you go. It takes a picture. It's a really cool uh, little um, gadget for sure. Um, I wish I had this like, I don't know, a month ago when I had my accident. Um, does not have sound though on it. Um, but sound is not a big deal, right? I mean, it's probably just going to pick up uh, you swearing when you get into an accident. Um, so it's probably not a good thing to have sound, right? Uh, video is, is key. And uh, video does not lie videos always always tells the truth right uh, and uh, another reason why I think it has a battery you can take it off the mount and maybe take it uh, into like a police station or your police car or whatever and and show the police officer this is what happened uh, and uh, so the police officer can view the footage uh, in his vehicle um, so yeah very cool little uh, machine um, it comes with the four gig uh, memory card this 4 gig uh, memory card. Um, I think is fine. Basically what it does is it just keeps looping over itself uh, So when the 4 gig memory card fills up then it just erases everything and then starts recording on the 4 gig again Unless you save the video then it's saved there um, And like I said probably a minute of footage will be saved um, if you get into an accident or if you see like a bad driver on the road or someone cuts you off or whatever the case may be you can just save the video to uh, to take it off you basically just pull on it like so and um, there's your little camera right there um, to put it back on you obviously just give it a good firm push and it will click into place this thing right here though like it's on there so good like I don't know how I'm gonna get it off it's on there so good so uh, I prefer that a lot better than a suction cup because uh, every suction cup I've ever owned usually falls off and lands on the dash or lands on the floor and that's a major issue because if that lands uh, in your footing area um, and lands under the brake or or gas pedal for instance uh, not a good thing so uh, I want something that's gonna be secured to the windshield and it's not gonna fall off uh, because like I said every time when it heats up cools down heats up cools down the damn thing falls off the windshield not good so this is way better 
highly recommend this little guy uh, and um, yeah I'm very happy with it I got a really good deal on it and uh, so yeah let's go back inside one thing I want to point out here uh, on this uh, dash cam is that after about five seconds it goes to a dim screen as you can tell it's it's still recording and you can still see the image on the screen but it has gone dim and the reason why is because when you're driving um, this can be a little bit distracting because it is very bright with the screen um, so especially at night when you're driving at night you don't want this thing very bright to uh, distract you when you're driving so it dims so that uh, you don't you don't see the brightness from this um, and then it's still recording even though that it's in a dim screen so to download footage from it the camera comes with another cord that plugs into your uh, computer uh, via USB okay and the other end will plug into the camera obviously you can download footage from there um, using the camera or you just simply take out the memory card you'll need to buy a micro SD uh, adapter so that you can put the card in it so that you can put it into like an iMac for instance or some kind of a card reader um, if your card reader doesn't accept uh, SD cards or micro SD cards um, and then it's just a simple um, download from there so it's actually quite easy let me show you some footage that I was able to capture take a look I have nighttime and I have a daytime footage um, roughly in the same area okay all right in this clip you're gonna see this vehicle coming here from the left hand side he runs right through a yield sign almost hits me I had to hit the brakes just to make sure we didn't collide uh, but he was nice enough to say sorry though uh, maybe because he saw that I had a dash cam 35 In this next clip, uh, just driving home from uh, work, and uh, this is on the uh, Shore Park Freeway, and um, so this is pretty much what it looks like uh, driving home during the day uh, on the freeway. Uh, I had to uh, block out uh, the bottom uh, just because it tells you the uh, GPS coordinates to where I was, uh, as well as my speed. Um, that's where that is located, uh, but uh, in this video, I blocked it out. Okay, in this next clip, this vehicle here on the left-hand side uh, cuts in front of me, almost creates an accident here, you'll see, because the other vehicle cuts in front of him. He has to hit the brakes, I had to hit the brakes, move over. Uh, vehicle behind me had to hit the brakes, and this guy had to come into my lane. It was just a real mess, so that's what this video here shows. All right, in this next clip here, you're going to see, I'm in a Safeway parking lot here in uh, Sherwood Park. Um, so going pretty slow here because it's uh, you know people are crossing the, sh the the parking lot here and all that kind of stuff uh, and then this vehicle comes flying out of nowhere right in front of me as I was about to make my left hand turn here um, and he was going about 30 35 uh, for sure uh, in a parking lot which is uh, never a good thing All right, in this next clip, this is the uh, night shot of the uh, Shore Park Freeway. Um, and as you can tell, it's actually pretty good. Uh, so no complaints about this camera. Uh, I'm actually loving it. Uh, and like I said, just within two days of using it, I was able to capture uh, some crazy drivers out there already. Um, so yeah, go out there and get yourself one because um, it's actually pretty good. So there you go, guys. Go out and get yourself the Dash Cam 35 by Garmin. I highly recommend that you guys go out and get this if you are looking into purchasing a, a, um, a Dash Cam. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys like this review that I've done on this uh, unit. Um, didn't have very much time. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty much um, everything you might need to know regarding this unit. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, send me an email. All right. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.